Hello everyone, it's me JB from Unique Tutorials. Today, in this video, I'll show you how to make any software as portable software in any Windows computer. So, without for more delay, let's begin. So, here I'm gonna show you two methods. The first method is without using a third party software and the second method is using a third party software. So firstly what you need to do is firstly just install any software whichever software you want to install. So here I'm taking one software as an example. So let me firstly install this software. So finally the installation has been completed. Now just click on finish. So now we're gonna use the first method that is without using a third party software. So firstly just open the file explorer and just go to the folder where you have installed the respective software or applications. So most probably in Windows computer, it's installed in the C drive under the folder program files as well as the program files into 86. So if the software is 64 bit, then you can just open this program files. And if the software is 32 bit, then it will be present under this folder files into 86. So right now I've installed a 64 bit software, so it will be under the program files. So here I'm using a PLC software as an example. You can use any software, whichever software you want to make as affordable. So now just select all the files and just right mouse click and click on copy. And now just right mouse click and click on this new. Select this folder. Say I will write here VLC portable. And now just paste all the files that you have copied in this newly created folder. So now let us try to open the software from here directly. So you can see it's perfectly working without needing to install it. So this is the first method without using the third party software. So now we are gonna use the second method that is using a third party software. So for this just open any web browser and in the Google search the search for one application name as Winder. And the first place you will see its official website. Just click on it. Now you can see here download Winder options. So I have already downloaded and installed it. So I'm not going to do it again. So you firstly download and install it. And after that once again move back to the same folder where you have installed the software and once again just select all the files and just right mouse click and now you'll see here WinRAR and just select this add to archive now under the general tab you will see here one option below create sfx archive just select it and now give any name whichever name you want to give so let me give it a uh, plc portable.exe so i have given this name and now on the above you can see one tab name advanced just select it and now on the right side where you can see here sfx option just click on it now just click on this setup and now just copy the name of the respective software or application just click on it and press app 2 and just copy the software or file name now just paste it here and give extension dot e x e now here you can see one tab name modes just click on it now just select this unpack to temporary folder and just select this hide all and now you can see on the above update tab just click on it and keep the first option extra can replace file as it is and at the bottom just select this overwrite all files and once all your settings are done click on ok now click on ok again so finally our second task is completed now move back to the same folder where you have installed the software so here you will see one new file being created that is a blc portable so now you can just copy it and paste it anywhere so now before opening this software let me try to uninstall the software so here i'm gonna uninstall the software which i have converted into portable so this is the software so let me uninstall it so i have uninstalled the software so now let us check if this portable version really works or not even after uninstallation so let me double tap click on it so finally you can see it's working perfectly even after uninstalling the software. So these are the two methods to make any software as portable software in any Windows computer very easily. So if you never known about the school tricks then you should definitely give it a try. So if you find this video tutorial useful please click on the thumbs like button and if you're new to our channel click on the subscribe button and lastly thanks for watching.